The LNP has brought out one of its biggest guns in the election campaign, former Prime Minister John Howard. He says the Premier is trying to be both for and against Adani, and we have too many public servants. John Howard, Liberal hero, weighing in on the state of Queensland. You need a certain number of state employees, but I think it's fair to say that the number appointed by the present government has got a little bit out of proportion. In the LNP seat of Mount Omini, held by just 300 votes. The problem Anastasia Palaszczuk has is that I don't know where she stands on the Adani mine. Shame on the Labor government. Adani featured strongly in an overnight community forum that also featured a lot of anger from the community. And these bloody politicians are disgusting and so we need a change. Get rid of Labor. Liberals started, get rid of Liberals. We work together. That's what we vote for you for. Become the state of origin and let's win it. There was criticism One Nation was even invited. I love solid. I love wind. But wind doesn't blow when the wind's not blowing. But the biggest backlash was for Tim Nichols, open to forming a government with them, but evasive on the issue. One more time, would you be willing to accept the support of One Nation if you need it for supply and confidence? David, I will deal with the parliament that the Queensland elects. The Premier couldn't be more plain. No deals. If that means going into opposition, we'll go into opposition. 60 of the 100 undecided voters in the crowd gave the night to Anastasia Palaszczuk and the last Liberal Prime Minister to rule out a deal with One Nation joined the chorus. I found in the past that whenever one nation was analysed on what I might call mainstream economic issues, it fell short. Before driving away in his battery-powered car. Live to Shane Doherty in West End. Shane, that's another make-or-break seat. Well, that's right, Melissa. This is Jackie Trad's official campaign launch. All the numbers say that she can't lose this seat and yet there's this nervousness that the Greens might cause one of the upsets of the election, certainly one to watch next weekend. Both Tim Nichols and Anastasia Palaszczuk have their campaign launches this weekend too on Sunday. All of the experts tell us it's about this time that people start paying attention to the election campaign and start making their minds up. It's going to be a hectic last week, Melissa. It certainly is, isn't it, Shane? Thank you.